hey foodie welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how to make zobo at home first we're going to be prepping the ingredients and the first ingredient that we're going to be using is a pineapple i'm going to be cutting off the back of the pineapple which i will not be discarding but i'll be using it in the zobo process After cutting this, I will pack them and set them aside to be used for later. I will cut the pineapples into smaller chunks because I will be blending this up. I want you to know that it is very important that you use a very ripe pineapple so that it can be really sweet. Because for this Zobo recipe, we are not going to be using sugar. The next ingredient I'm going to be using is my orange. I'm not going to peel the bag. I'm just going to cut it into slices like this. And I will be using this. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this. This Zobo is sugar free and it is so so healthy and so so nutritious. So I'm going to be using some ginger now that I will roughly peel the back. I will not really be peeling the back but I just want to peel off some parts of the back and I will be chopping this into smaller chunks for it to be blended. After slicing this, I'll be using some fresh mint leaves and I will, in a pot, I'll pour some water and add my pineapple peel, my orange slices, my cinnamon sticks, some cloves, because this is very important for this recipe, some cloves and some fresh mint. I will immerse this before adding my zobo leaves which has been rinsed before now because you need to rinse your zobo very well because of sand and i'll add some cucumber slices to this i will give this a quick mix together and i will allow this to boil on low heat like i don't want to make this boil fast so i'll just let it boil gradually while i make my juice now i'm going to be adding some pineapple and my ginger and i'm going to be blending this up i blended it with a lot of water so that i can get this consistency i'll be sieving this house like so to get how to get the juice from the pulp so i'll sieve this out and this is my juice and this is my pulp which i'll be discarding then this is what we are trying to achieve this is our sweetener this is what will act as a sweetener now my zobo is almost ready the color is already popping it's looking so beautiful and you know it's looking so so amazing zobo drink is highly nutritional guys it is so so nutritional it cleanses your it cleanses your system it makes you feel like really good and you know if you have been having constipation when you drink zobo it really eases it out so i'm going to be boiling my zobo leaves for a second time but i will not be filming how i will do that i'll just have some water and cook it and i'll set that aside so now this is our sieved zobo from the first one that we cooked and i'm going to be adding my juice to it to act as the sweetener i'll not be adding any sugar to this but if you feel like you want it to be sweeter than this of course you can add some of those zobo sweeteners that i sell in the market but for this one i will not be adding any sweetener i will just take it away and i will serve it chilled like this thank you for so much for watching this recipe i want to see you in my next one please subscribe to my youtube channel share this to your friends and like it you're going to love this recipe thank you so much i hope to see you in my next one bye guys <laughs>